Okay, so welcome to another one of the new Brighton Capital educational videos. And what we're going to be going through here is how do you actually set up the read-only API on CoinSpot. And uh, if you're unaware, just what the API does, it gives us read-only access to what's going on on your account. So it only allows us to see the activity on your account. We cannot transfer any funds. We cannot trade. We cannot in any way uh, move any of your coins or funds out of the exchange or even within the exchange. So everything stays the same. It just basically allows us to look at the activity that's going on so that we can actually do the accounting throughout the financial year. So what you're going to be doing is just head over to your CoinSpot account. You can see the uh, homepage here. What we're looking to do is go over to the top right. You can see this account tab with the box over it. You want to click account. The first thing you want to do is to set up two-factor authentication. So if you have not already done that, just go into the security tab here and it'll give you options of actually setting up um, the two-factor authentication. We recommend Google Authenticator. From once that's actually set up, go back into the account tab here and from these options, we're looking to do the API section there. So click on the API, bring you to this page here. What we're looking to do is generate new API key. So you can see here that you can generate two types of API keys with different levels of access. The first option is the read only API. Um, this key only allows you to read data from your account. That's the one we want. The other option is full access. So the full access, this key allows full access to your account, including digital currency withdrawal. So we will only ever ask you for read only access. So just be sure about that. So once you're comfortable there, just click the generate new API key. No problem. You can see we've got a couple of options here. We've got the name and then the type, and then you've got to put in your, uh, your two-factor authentication code. So we'll call this one the new Brighton Capital API. We're doing read-only access, and the two-factor code here is going to be, and then you want it, once that's entered, you want to create API key. Okay, so add key request was successful. Please check email to confirm. Okay, so here is that confirmation email. You'll just need to confirm by clicking the link that they send you. And there you go. You can see that the in your My APIs key section down the bottom here, you can see that you've got the API key, uh, which is read only, New Brighton Capital. Great. So. Now what we need to do is you need to send us the details of the API keys. And how do you do that? Well, we need you to add the key and the secret key onto your online portal. So your online portal that you access through uh, one of the emails that we will have sent you is a secure portal. And that's where we need this data to be sent. So first thing we wanna do is just get the first key. So we can copy this. And here we have your online portal where it says, this is what you'll be sent at tax time. So docs required for this year's SMSF tax obligations. Uh, cryptocurrency investments. Please enter read-only API keys in the notes section below. So type note. So we can write CoinSpot API. That's the first part of the data there. The second part, of the data is the secret. So view secret one time only. We want to copy the secret. So we can just click copy and straight back over to here and paste that there. So the way to name this would basically be API key there and secret there and then click save okay so then that will be added to your file and you should also keep a copy of these details for yourself um, you can always come back here and delete the API so if later on down the track if for example you no longer are a client uh, with New Brighton Capital or for any other reasons if you're generating other APIs uh, for other reasons you can always go back into the account section, back into the API section. You can see the API keys here, and then you can delete API key 
at any time. Warning, deleting an API key is not reversible. So anyone who has, uh, who has had any access through those APIs will no longer have that access. So you can click confirm and then it'll delete details there. We do need the API keys to be active uh, basically the entire time for us to be uh, doing the work, but it's good to know that you can generate those keys and delete them at any time you wish. So that's how you generate the API keys on CoinSpot. Any queries, let us know. We'll always be happy to help. We'll see you in the next video.